Hi guys, it's Miss Sheree here at the Northfield Library and we're getting closer and closer to one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. For today's spooky sign language, we're going to learn the words for Halloween candy. And that's one thing that Froggy really wants this Halloween. Can you try it with me? Halloween candy. Halloween, you're gonna cup your hands and cover your eyes and go Halloween. And then candy, you're gonna take your pointer finger, poke it in your cheek, and just twist it around. Halloween candy. You got it. Now let's read the story and find out if Froggy gets his Halloween candy. Froggy's Halloween by Jonathan London. Froggy's Halloween. For Froggy, Halloween meant candy, but it also meant dressing up. And he wondered, what should I be for Halloween? What do you think you should be for Halloween? What are you going to be for Halloween? I know, cried Froggy. Super Frog! Flying high over the city, faster than a dragonfly, stronger than a bullfrog. No, something spooky. I know, cried Froggy, a ghost, ghost frog. He poked two holes in his mother's best white sheet and draped it over his head. Boo. No, something scarier. I know, cried Froggy, vampire frog. He put on his black cape, swoosh, pulled on his mom's black tights, zoop, put on his slick, that black wig, zat, and said in his best Dracula voice, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care, I'll pull down your underwear. Froggy, called his mother. What? Halloween's not till next week. You're supposed to be doing your homework, dear. I'm Count Von Froggyla, said Froggy. Vampire frogs don't do homework. Froggy's mother laughed. Vampires have fangs, she said. You're a toothless wonder. Oops, cried Froggy. All week at school, Froggy wondered, what should I be for Halloween? A football player? A cowboy? A zombie? Froggy, called his teacher, Mrs. Witherspoon. What? Kindly keep your mind on your work, dear. Froggy's too busy thinking about Halloween, not homework and schoolwork. But his mind was on Halloween. Every day after school, he got ready. He carved crazy pumpkins. He hung sticky spider webs all over the front of his house. He hung his mother's sheet like a ghost in the wind. And he practiced. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care, I'll pull down your underwear. At last, it was the night before Halloween. And all through the house, there were creaking sounds and scratching sounds. Froggy was scared. He shivered in bed and imagined ghosts and goblins and werewolves and witches. Witches, zap. I know, cried Froggy. I'll be the frog prince for Halloween. And in the morning, he put on his black cape, swoosh, pulled on his mother's black tights, zip, and put on his slick black wig, zat, pulled on a golden crown, zonk, and flashed his mighty sword, ta-da! At the Halloween parade at school, all the girls thought he looked cute, especially Frogalina. And that night, when the dark crept in, and all the ghosts and goblins crept out to go trick-or-treat, Princess Frogalina 
leapt out and chased after the frog prince to give him a kiss. Eek, ugh, cried Froggy. He was never more scared than in his life. He leapfrogged over his mother. He leapfrogged over his father. He leapfrogged over his friend Max and flopped up Max's steps. Flop, 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 splat. He tripped on the porch and Frog Alina fell on top of him. The door flew open and, uh-oh, there stood the wickedest witch in the world. Uh, trick or treat, squealed Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Luckily, Frog Alina ran away and the witch turned out to be Max's grandma. And that Halloween, Froggy got lots and lots of candy, but his sword poked a hole in his candy bag. And by the time he got home, what do you guys think happened to all of his candy? His candy was gone. Oh no, cried Froggy. What's the matter, asked his mother. He showed her his empty bag. Well, you're in luck, said his mother, holding up a bowl full. I guess nobody liked my treats. And what do you think she gave him? What do you guys think is in her giant bowl? They're chocolate covered. Let's see. Flies. Yum, cried Froggy. My favorite. Munch, crunch, crunch. Would you want to eat a bowl of flies for Halloween? I wouldn't. I'm glad that Froggy got all of his favorite treats in the end. I hope you get your favorite treats this Halloween too. See you next time. So for this week's craft, it's something super easy. You are going to be making your very own Halloween crown. Similar to the one that Froggy's wearing in the story. All you will need for this craft is the paper plate found in your bag, a pair of scissors, and a crayon of your choice. I chose the color purple, but you're welcome to choose any color that you want. For this project, you will need to peel the paper off of your crayon, just like I did here. Inside your bag, you'll find this paper plate. On your paper plate, you'll find that I've marked some lines so that way you know where to cut. We're going to cut this paper plate like a pizza. We're going to cut up and then we're going to stop. We don't want to cut the whole plate because then it won't fit on our head. Then you're going to go the other way and stop and then we're going to go this way and stop. And since your paper plate was folded in half like a taco, when you open it up, both sides should be cut. And if you have any trouble, if you want to cut any more, you can open your plate and see if any pieces are stuck together. And then go back yourself or with a grown-up's help and just cut all the pieces so that way you have a nice pointy crown. See all the pieces I have here? The next step that you're going to do is that we're going to color our whole paper plate. And it'll be easier if we do this first before we start bending our crown. So I took my purple crayon and I took the paper off. I'm gonna fold my paper plate back into a taco. And now I'm going to rub my crayon all over the plate. And when I rub my crayon all over the plate, it covers more of the surface of the plate. And it was easier for me to color the whole thing quicker. 
So you're welcome to color your plate however you feel like it. I just think that this way, it's fun and easy. Now that I've covered this whole side purple, I'm going to flip the plate over and do the same thing to the other side. And if you don't want to use a crayon, you can also use a marker. And that way you can just color how you normally would with a marker. There you go. Now I have both sides covered in purple. The next step is to open your plate back up and you're going to bend all of our pieces of our crown up. So you take the cut piece Fold it back and pinch. That's one. Fold it back and smush. So this way, all the pieces of your crown are sticking up. You're going to go around and do all of the sides until all of them are standing up. Once you're all done, your crown should look something like this. All of my pieces are standing up. Everything's colored. Now comes the fun part. We're going to decorate. Inside your bag, you'll find some cool foam stickers that are all Halloween decorated. So on the back of yours, you should be able to peel your Halloween stickers. So you just take the back and peel it like you would a sticker. It's a little tricky, but you can do it. Now I'm gonna take my monster sticker and stick it anywhere I want on my crown. Here I have a spooky spider. I'm gonna stick that here. And a cool skeleton. Let's put that one there. And a cool looking spider web. And I'll stick that one there. So now that my cool Halloween spooky crown is all decorated, I can wear it on my head. You can wear it before Halloween or on Halloween or anytime you want because it's yours. I hope you had lots of fun making this spooky craft and that you enjoyed the story, Froggy's Halloween. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.